It's Axel back with your weekly dose of Select This Fraud. It's going to be an interesting show here, what I got for you. You got to pay attention because this, this is crazy. As you see in the thumbnail, gangs, chameleons, dispatcher fraud, broker negligence, trucking fraud, con artists. It's so out of control in this industry, something's got to be done. So, let's uh, roll into the show. So, it was kind of strange how this all happened. A broker I know sent me an email and told me to look at this. Okay, and, and the email started like this. Somebody had bid on a load with them. Here's the carrier packet and the other documents attached. It came from this Alex Jr. Quick Loadings LLC, senior dispatcher. Got his phone number there if you guys want to call him. Uh, then he proceeds to say, we are on Selectus with account user ID KNWAR Corp. First of all, on Selectus, it's not even laid out like that. I don't, I don't know what he's doing. Uh, then it goes on, the broker asks, so who are we setting up should our customer decide to book? Canwar, Quick Loadings, or MT Flex? And this fool donkey of the day puts with MT Flex, LLC. Interesting. So you're on Selectus with one account and you're bidding for a, another carrier. Uh, the broker responds, I do not even see K. Anwar Corp. We are going to take a pass on this. Way too shady if you ask me. He sends a screenshot. Screenshot says sell trucking. Oh, interesting. Then the big bozo actually bugs the broker again. I am waiting for your response. Please update. Are we good on this one? Broker responds, absolutely not there is literally four carriers involved whoa now i'm gonna say this god he works in mysterious ways because i wasn't planning on doing this show but it's really funny because somebody tried to sell me select this and would would you believe it if i told you it was for sale trucking god thank you Thank you. I know you're working with me on this one. <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Bro Broker is going to be surprised too. I, I let them know that this video is coming out. They can't believe it, but let's jump into it. Let's uh, see what we got here. So we got this Mount Flex LLC. Now they are authorized, but as you can see, same thing, bunch of insurance nonsense. Their authority was granted December 3rd, 2021. Then you see replace, 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 canceled. So right after they got their authority, 12-3-21, about a little over a year ago, insurance gets canceled. They must have restarted this authority again. This, this is crazy. Okay, so... That's Mount Flex LLC. We label them A. You know me. I like to label everything. So if you want to go back, you can look. So the next company he mentions is Quick Load LLC or Quick Loadings. Now, his phone number was a Texas number. I went through the Safer site. I found a bunch of different Quick Loads. This is the closest one to being him. There's one other one out of Texas, but that's not authorized either. But I believe it is this one. I truly believe it is this one. I could be wrong, but I truly believe. But anyways, they're out of service. This carrier is out of service. This entity has a pending insurance cancellation. Uh, in fact, the insurance was canceled in October of 2021. You can see the authority was granted May. I'm on the bottom slide here now. The authority was granted May 13, 2021. Then, not even a year, it was revoked, November 2nd of 2021. Then they reinstated it, uh, maybe a month later, 12-9-2022. But now it looks like it's getting ready, or it's, it's out of service again. They must not have paid their insurance again. So whoever this is, just give it up. You're, you're wasting your time and everyone else's time. And if you're 
dealing with this Alex guy and all the other nonsense, you well, you're, you're cold busted now. So this is how it starts. And I want to let you guys know, later on in the video, I'm actually going to log into the account. Yes, that's right. I'm going to log right into the account. Because, see, this guy here, he's the rat. He ratted everybody out, basically. He was offering Selectus. Uh, I said, hello, hello. He said, I was a bit busy. But I can give you Selectus access for $100 a month. Wow, what a deal. I've been hearing that $100 a lot. Not only from the fraudsters offering us up, but from Selectus themselves. So I don't, I don't know what's going on here. They're, like, fighting over... a. Who's going to sell the Selectus for $100? Uh, if you're serious, let me know so I can create the account. You log in first, then pay. Oh, really? Just gave someone else access, so no scam. I'm going to do a recording training tomorrow on how to effectively use it. Really? I'm doing my training program, too, right now. I said, okay, let me, let me try it. And the conversation proceeds. Uh, if I create your account, will you pay will you be pay ready after you log in i said how long i get to check it out question hello brother i got other things to do so please don't expect me to reply right away thank you well hey hey buddy you're trying to sell me something first of all and you got an attitude like that you think i need you ha, you didn't even know who you were dealing with i can give you a link for 12 to 24 hours I will send a video tomorrow on how to effectively use it. I haven't gotten any video. He must be, uh, I don't know, drunk somewhere in a corner or trying to scam someone else. Give him thumbs up. Let me know if you want to move forward if you really want it. Yes. What we need to do. We setting up tonight or tomorrow? He says, tonight, give me five minutes. He's on a call. Big business guy. That's okay. He said, I'll create login. I give him thumbs up. Thanks. All of a sudden, this guy, he sends me the corporate ID, corporate password. He says, leave it empty for the corporate password. He gives me the user. He gives me password. Bingo. Axel's got you. You just didn't know. He said, I'll send the video on it tomorrow. I said, thank you. Hearts, emojis, everything. Give him a little love. Keep me updated tomorrow evening. And if you can, comment back to the guy who tagged you and tell him you got login. Hmm, really. I'll be honest with you. I started the video. I got the guy's name, though. That's really interesting, though. Is that one of your one of your guys? One of your uh, associates in this uh, fraud you're doing? Then I tell him some bullshit. Okay, my wife looking right now. She got me grocery shopping. Ladies, I'm not married. I got... All this time to put in catching all these clowns. So I'm sorry. R right now, Axel's not available. Okay, next slide. So this guy's name is Steven Jean Jocks. And I've seen this post here. To God be all the glory. On the left side, six years ago, 24-year-old broke as ASF. We know what that means. Working a factory job and lift to make ends meet while being homeless, sleeping in my car to stack it all up. I'll be honest with you, bro. You look like a normal, hardworking dude there on the left. On the right, you look like, I don't know, like a storm hit you, like a typhoon. You, you just went from maybe normal dude to totally bullshit. Right side, 26 years old, millionaire, living in a nice spot in Medellin. If you don't know where that is, people, it's Colombia. In Miami sometimes, six figures a month. Wow, this guy is big baller. He posts something else. Alexa, play Finally Rich by Sosa, standing next to an airplane. Wow. Life is good. Let's keep going. It's going to get interesting. Then he posts this. My dispatching company grossed over $3 million this month to our carriers. That's over 200 k in commissions for the month. But most importantly, that's over $3 million we put into our carrier's pockets for the month. If you have a trucking company and not eating, DM me for a consultation call. We can help you for sure. Gives me a screenshot of this nonsense. Listen, whether this is true or not, I can almost guarantee you there's there's major fraud and money laundering going here. I mean, I hope, I hope brokers, carriers, and drivers are paying attention because it... it Oh, let's move on. We we got we got to keep us to a certain time. Okay. 
this guy on his Facebook, he travels like, uh, to me, it's odd because I see Columbia, 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 F Miami, Florida, uh, Poblado, Medellin, Columbia, Columbia, Medellin, Medellin, Columbia, Columbia, Medellin, 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 Columbia, 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 Medellin, Columbia, 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 Columbia. Uh, what do we got there? Uh, Miami, Queens, New York, Rolling Loud, New York City. Hey, listen, I don't even know if politicians travel this much, and especially as much as he's going to Columbia. Really? Dispatcher, Columbia, numerous times. Dates are right there. He's posting it. This is going to get more interesting. Let's keep going. Ah, uh, he puts on May 7th, full transparency post. For the people who will be hitting me up and asking to learn trucking from me, I'm in the process of selling all my trucks and exit that side of the business. Good. Get all the way out, bro, because you're a crook. My main focus right now is my dispatching company and my freight brokerage. Well, I couldn't find no freight brokerage for this bozo. Higher profit margin. Unless it's about dispatching, I'm not training or selling no courses on trucking. Oh, unless it's about dispatching, I'm not training or selling no course on trucking. Really? Okay. You see here on the right, he says, works at Dispatch Geeks. Lives in Miami, from Chicago. Now he's from Chicago. This guy, he, he's all over. He, he's like a nomad. He's from everywhere. Okay, next slide. This is the post that I came across. If anyone wants access to select this, I have an extra seat that I don't need. Oh, really? I didn't know they had seats and they were available. I didn't know when you had your account, you have available seats. Like it's a roller coaster ride. I create you an account prior to paying no you don't create the account you're giving access to an account that's not yours dm me serious inquire only he gets the clown picture then you see here he posted it in this group cargo van slash box truck owners hustle drivers you need you need to wake up you need to be very careful who you're dealing with let's get to the next slide and brokers so Right here, looking for three box truck owners with 26 foot. Oh, he's looking for trucks now with lift gates. We have new authorities, new authorities. You know what that means, right? He wants dummies, new guys, and need dispatching. We charge only 6%. Here we go. Everybody wants a cut of the pie. They don't want to do any work. They all want a cut of the pie. <sighs> and have experienced dispatchers we are a u.s based company i also own a trucking company and also drove trucks for three years so i know what it takes to help a company generate revenue to stay in business during these tough times i'm offering a risk-free bullshit to try our dispatching service if you don't like it you don't pay we help you with applying for your government certifications whoa 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 whoa, whoa. government certifications now we're gonna get to that so you can have access to marketplaces and win government procurements with USPS, et cetera, free of charge. Now, you see here, he put by calling this number or email sales at dispatchgeeks.com. Remember that number, 786-882-7686. They've been posting ads like crazy in three groups. Here's one of them. Dedicated accounts, government contracts. I don't know how a dispatcher has government contracts. Explain that to me, okay? New authority welcome, 24-7 dedicated dispatcher. No minimum contract, no forced dispatch. Discount for larger fleets, up to 6,000 weekly. Let's get to the next one here. So this is their Facebook page for this Dispatch Geeks, okay? Based out of Miami, Florida consulting agency it says there's the same phone number that's what the facebook looks like he's advertised it in these three groups the same ad same wording these three facebook groups okay this guy is hunting for dummies okay he's hunting for dummies wake up everybody Next, they had this post, government contract benefits. Did you know about our government contract benefits? Brokers, smart carriers, explain to me how dispatcher has contracts with no authority. That's what I want to know. And now he's saying government contracts. 
this 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 is interesting let's get to the next one here okay so here we got their website dispatch geek schedule a call let me click it on here so i can scroll it for you uh, we offer many solutions. Dispatch geeks can grow your trucking business. Dedicated dispatchers, dedicated freight experts, government contract experts, billing and invoicing. Oh, I definitely want to be trusting this guy to have any of my info. Back office in administration. Hell no. Roadside services support. How our dispatchers can generate profits in your business. Got all this. Shippers and broker relationships. Hey, brokers. It says... They got 600 plus shipper and broker relationships. Oh, man. Dispatcher criteria. I guess this is if you want to come work for them. Training and process, blah, blah, blah. Two to five years. Oh, they're looking for college graduates. Unbelievable. Uh, so they got here book a call, sign agreement, send us your docs. People. Don't be sending people your stuff. You know, there's a lot of fraud going around, right? And you guys are just handing them everything. Handing them your MC, your authority, your tax ID. Some of you give them your bank accounts. Start hauling loads. Be profitable. Look at their specialties now. This is the, Remember, everything I'm pointing out, dry van, reefer, flatbed, hot shot, power only, box trucks, 26 foot. <sighs> Look, even they dispatched down in South America. Guys, be careful what you're doing. Be very careful. I don't know who this guy is. Sebastian Roberts says we got this. You know, a lot of put bullshit fucking reviews and comments. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Anyways, nowhere in this website is there a freaking address. I couldn't even find an LLC for this company, which is very strange because if you have a website, okay, and you're claiming to be a business in this country, and I'm, trust me, I was searching in a lot of places. They probably got it underneath another name, or maybe they don't have it at all. Maybe they're just money laundering. Maybe they're just money laundering. Maybe these carriers are so dumb, sending them money, and they're just laundering the money to Colombia. Who knows? Let's get to the next site. Here's the mastermind. Ha ha, the rat. He's got this shirt on, Elite Trucking Mastermind. Yeah, he's the mastermind, all right? The mastermind of bullshit, bullshit. Okay, next. He said something in a comment, Okay. And I actually had to go Google it myself because I, I didn't know what this was. It's called Zo, Zo Pound. It's a criminal street gang based in Miami, Florida, founded by Haitian immigrants in the mid-1990s. Now you got my attention. This is interesting. History. Having branched out from Miami in two decades leading up to 2010, they are known to be involved in drug trafficking, robbery, and related violent crimes in support of their drug trafficking activities. And then in Evansville, Indiana, in 2004, six Zoll Pound leaders were arrested on racketeering and conspiracy charges in Fort Pierce, Florida, after the Florida Department of Law Enforcement offices convinced several gang members to give testimony for the prosecution. Street gang, really. She's probably saying, excellent. Where are you going with this? How did, how did you get to this? How do we go from trucking expedite to dispatching to gangs now? Well, this guy, he said in one of his posts, happy Haitian flag day to all my zoos. Unbelievable. It's right there. Zo, the anglicized variant of the word zo, Haitian Creole for bone, as members were known to be hard to the bone. When conflicts against Haitians arose, the pound would be sought out to retaliate. Thus, the street gang named Zo Pound was born. Really? Who are the Zoes in Miami? Zo Pound are a widespread criminal organization composed of mostly Haitian immigrants. Zo Pound was founded in mid-1990s in the Lil Haiti section of Miami, Florida by a small group of Haitian immigrant youths who were tired of being attacked by Hispanics, whites, Asians, and in some cases, African Americans. So they really don't like nobody. They didn't put Greek in there though. They should put Greek in there too. Let's get to the next one because 
I don't know what's going on, but this is crazy. So here's Sal Trucking. You're busted, okay? You're busted. Sal Trucking, they're the ones that have the authority, and they're the ones with the account on Selectus. I label them as letter C. Like I said, everybody's labeled. They're out of Orlando, Florida. Oh, really? Orlando. Not too far from Miami. Hmm, interesting. One power unit, one driver. As usual, everybody has one to two power units, but are moving 200 freaking trucks. Flatbeds, reefers, dry van. This next shot. Okay, of course, this is, this is safer. So uh, you see the address. Sal Trucking, 5415 Lost Palma Vista Drive, Orlando, Florida. And you see the phone number, 973-960-0369. Whether you guys got to come back and watch the video again, these things I point out, I point them out for a reason. If you got a good collective memory and can absorb and, and remember things, you'll be all right. But it's a lot of info. Let's get to the next one. So you can see in July of 21... They were granted authority. In May of 22, not even a year, it was revoked. Then it was restated in August 8th of 2022. Okay? You see all this. So this authority is turning off, turning on. Uh, it's like a light switch. Light switch. Whenever they need it to scam somebody, I guess. Here's the corporation. Same address. And the guy's name is Anwar Hamid, or Hamid Anwar, you know? I'm assuming Arabic. I'm assuming. Okay, so this is the corporation paper. Same address, Los Palmos Vista Drive. You know what's funny? Mr. Hamid Anwar had another authority called Vital Transportation, LLC. Now, this one, instead of labeling it D, I put an L for loser, donkey of the day okay you see right there hamid anwar he had another authority you see you see where i know the brokers know where i'm going with this okay let's move on so of course that authority is not authorized that was a previous revoked authority vital transportation okay had two units two drivers you see the same phone number, same address. These guys don't even move before they start up a new, 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 new. It's just crazy, man. It's just crazy. So shut down one authority, got revoked, whatever, and they start up another one. Interesting. You can see August 17th, 2022, it was canceled. Revoked. Involuntary revocation. Involuntary. Okay, you guys can go back, look at this whenever you want. So is this what we call chameleon carrier? Shut down one. Now, I didn't look up the safety record to see, you know, maybe maybe they're moving trucks and stuff and got busted and audited. And, you know, I can only put so many slides in, but you got the info there. You can look them up if you want. You got the MC, you got the DLT, you got the company name. So basically, South Trucking had an authority previously. South Trucking is dealing with this dispatch company. Sal Trucking somehow is dealing with two other carrier authorities, supposedly, or dispatch. I don't know what's going on here, but this is crazy. Okay? So this is who Sal Trucking is on, safe, on uh, Selectus. I need a little coffee. So you got their MC, DOT. You see who they're on Selectus. Blah, blah, blah. You see Hamid Enwar. Primary contact, complaint. He's the main cojone. He's the main cojone. He's another. There's like two ringleaders here. Can they have two ringleaders? Okay, next. Drivers. I put this up for you. I, I know some guys, you know, they complain, especially some other. Oh, Axel, he puts the addresses and this and that, blah, blah, blah. Oh, you sissy crybabies, man. This is public information. You, you, you don't want anybody to know where your house is and then don't put the address. Go live in a freaking shack somewhere and hide. Okay? L let's, let's see what's going on here. Nice house. Get the palm trees. I like the palm trees. Look at that. Beautiful. Luxury. Let's see if I... Oh, nice. Granite. This must have been like... 
I don't know, newer picture or somebody stole the faucet because the cabinet. I, I used to do homes, high-end homes. I used to flip high-end homes. This is like 1980s style here, the old cabinetry, the 80s kind of style, brick layout pattern. Yeah, nothing special. Basic basic layout. Some basic stuff. I mean, Florida houses, they, they don't impress me anyways too much, to be honest with you. Okay, let's keep going. Carpet looks eh, blah. Bathroom is blah. Jacuzzi tub is blah. Oh, swimming pool. Hey, Anwar, if you find one day a floaty in there, it might have been from me because I'd love to drop a deuce in that pool for you. I'd love to leave a deuce for you. Look, drivers. These guys, they're swimming while you're working hard. They're sucking your blood. 6%. Planes, jets, Columbia trips. <laughs> Look at this. Man, hey, pool party at Anwar's house. Pool party. Look at this. Look, 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 look. Gets better. Gets better. Nice, nice lawn. I, wait, wait, what was that over there? I think we got some drinks in a, in a bucket over there. Got the drinks ready for us. Basketball court. You guys like to hoop it up a little bit. Hunter's Creek. Look at nice golf course. Whoa, brokers. I know you love golf. Man, we got to get over there. We got to get to Anwar's house. Play a little golf, a little skinny dipping in the pool. Of course, you know, I will drop a deuce in there. Oh, man. Okay, let's get to the next slide, man. So, select this. This is the main screenshot. You see there, Sal Trucking, account user ID, W, Anwar, blah, blah, blah. You know? <sighs> unbelievable, just unbelievable. I, I, just want, I just want to scream sometimes. So, he gives me this corporate ID. Uh, he tells me to leave the corporate password empty. He gives, now, guys... When a video comes out, maybe you'll be able to log in. I don't give a damn. But I'm pre-recording the video. Uh, it's Sunday afternoon around 6 p.m. And then I'm going to play it. But before I... Uh, how can I say it? Before the video actually goes live, I'm going to send out mass messages from this account, like I usually do, to all 4,000 Selectus members, letting everybody know that Axel got another one. And this time, I'm going to give them a link to the video so they can see it live in action. Uh, so anyways, he gives me this one on the bottom here, W. Anwar. So I guess my new name is William. Yeah, okay, I'll be William for you, buddy. Okay, so inside, this is their user list. Everybody's named Anwar. Dan Anwar. Hamid Anwar. You see, there's only a phone number next to Hamid because he's the main Kahoni. Uh, Ike Anwar, Joe Anwar, Khalid Anwar, Mark Anwar. Then you got to select this usually in there. Trav Anwar, and then me on the bottom, William Anwar. And then you see all these emails that they're using to dispatch from? That's, that's just what they're using. That's not what Dispatch Geeks is using because they're doing other stuff, okay? But you see they got Sal Trucking number 16, uh just south trucking transport number seven five two fourteen thirteen one whatever you know so i mean this is pure madness you guys don't know who you're dealing with the bro this is why the brokers are going bananas and i don't blame them i really don't blame them it's all right guys i'm here axel's here next so while i'm in there there's no vehicles or drivers in their selectus ever ever i even went to check the history ever they, they never enter nothing so basically they're using this account as a dispatch account okay for god knows how many authorities I, I what do we find here two three and one dispatch company you know you got the credit card information of course i can't see it i only see the last four but that's their payment portal um uh, I guess the bill is current. You see there their email list, saltruckingtransport at gmail.com. If you want to email them, tell them they're a bunch of a-holes. Assholes. Okay. Now, also at Selectus, you can pull up the security logs. Now, it was so small, I just screenshotted the first form, blew them up, you know, so you can see, like, 
you'll see the dates and times. So it's not like selectors cannot go look and see what the hell is going on. Okay. Everybody has security logs. I mean, it's, it's not hard to figure this stuff out. Okay. Okay, now, so guess what we got here? I'm going to log in for you guys. I figure you like that. I figure you like to see Axel in action. So let's put this in here. Oh, we got to turn it on. Let's turn it on here. We go right here. Hopefully, I can still get in this sucker. Okay, 7590. I think that's right. Hit continue here because he said no corporate password. Come on. Now I got to select the user. So he gave me uh, this W guy. Can I see it down here? Okay. I'm going to put in my uh, secret password. We're going to log in live. Live. Live from Axel. So now I'm in their account. You see on the top, corporate ID, Sal Trucking. This is how it's done. So simple and easy. Bozo selling access and poof. I think I'm up to like, it's just nine or 10 of these guys I've caught. Okay. In this video, so I'm going to see this video. They, 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 I hope that they, they, their eyeballs get real big. Like you ever remember Pee Wee Herman when his eyeballs got real big? That's how their eyeballs need to get. So you see over here, we can uh, we can go to the load board. I can see all the loads. You see right now, this is dated the 28th, these loads. So I see all these people in here. Valued Freight, MP, Cap Logistics, Saturn, BLX, GoTo Logistics, Ground Freight, IA Logistics, Freight Flex, Par Logistics, Par, McClay, Circle, KCH, Broker MC. This some, some, we got a bunch of new guys, clowns. Circle, Transmedic, Transmedic. SunTech, Logistics Dynamics, Transmedic, uh, you know, you, you, you got all this nonsense. You, you got all this nonsense. Who, who, should, we, who should we open up? Who, 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 who was nasty to me? Here, Logistics, Logistics Dynamics, when they were nasty to me, they got mad at me because I wanted to, they wanted me to update and give uh, updates on my drivers when they're on hygiene breaks. Yeah, they're the ones, Logistics Dynamics. And then whoever the guy was, I don't know if it was the owner or whatever, called and talked nasty to me. But I'm not the one that's a fucking idiot, okay? I'm not going to tell you when the drivers need a hygiene break. Do, do, I, do, do I look like a daycare center? You know, like I'm running a nursing home or something. I got to tell you that, you know, the, the little old lady has to take a leak or something. Stupid, man, stupid. I swear to God, we got a bunch of dummies in this industry. Only my cigarette. So, uh, well, that was weird. How did I go here? Let's go back. Is it not working? Can I? Uh, you know what? Because I'm inside this widget, I can't click in there. Or right, let me see. Accept all cookies. Nah, it won't let me. Because I'm inside the widget, it won't let me jump. Because it's a it's a program. But either way, you see, I'm inside. I can go all over uh, dispatch, closest ground units, trip monitor. Uh, what else can I show you? Uh, Alliance. I got my big head in the way. Virtual. You see everybody in the system here. So when we're getting all these crazy emails and stuff, it's probably because, they're you know, oh, so many people are just getting in and getting everybody's information yeah see i can't click to the other screens once i'm on the next one but this is it i'm in here when i'm done with this video i'm going to email out from this account so everybody's going to get a lot of fan mail from sal trucking okay you know how i do it it's not my first rodeo and uh so i'm in here they gave me access tried to sell it to me whatever fucking bozos Okay, so everybody, <laughs> uh, to the broker who sent me the email, it was kind of funny, you know, because you were talking about that. You said, hey, take a look at these guys, you know, three, four guys using the same account, this Sal Trucking, have you heard of them? And I said, you know, I've heard the name before, but what was funny is because I was on Facebook and then this guy is trying to sell me Selectus. 
and you know you saw the conversation and he, boom he gives me the link and I, sal trucking wow god he gave me a gift he gave me uh, i think it was meant to be you know sometimes it's just it's fate it's meant to be you know it's meant to be so anyways i'm the only guy in expedite that's bringing all the nitty-gritty ugly bullshit fraud collusion and i know i keep saying it i know i keep doing shows you know but man i i got i got some more stuff but in this episode here i don't know what's going on here to me it looks really funny you got uh, a trucking company whatever van company one unit two unit whatever one or two other companies somehow linked this dispatch company where this guy is claiming to make millions and he's traveling like crazy to Colombia, Miami. I mean, I'm not, I'm not making no accusations, but I know what goes on over there, okay? And to me, when you involve trucking money, dispatching, and I can't even find a corporation for that dispatch company, you're taking all these trips back and forth to Colombia and Miami, and you're talking about Zoe, which is a street gang, and I don't, I don't know what's going on here. Is, is, there, is, is there money laundering? Is there drug trafficking? Is there human trafficking? What is going on, people? What is going on? Brokers that are working with me, you guys are increasing, too. I appreciate it. We need to... I don't care. You guys want to have a meeting? I'll come to this transportation TIA. If you need me to come, something needs to be done, okay? Because there's, it, it, it's not good for the drivers. It's not good for the other carriers. And you're putting yourselves in jeopardy too. These guys, if they're doing highly illegal activities, okay? They're all, I mean, they already are. They're, 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 the, the, the stuff they're doing is crazy. But if they're doing other stuff that you don't know about and you're giving them loads, you know what's going to happen, right? That little load or whatever you try to make, 100, 500,000 from whatever, might cost you thousands from a huge monster lawsuit. Let's, let's, let's be smart. Let's be proactive. Let's, let's get it from the beginning. Let's cut the thorns off these roses, okay? These thorns got to go, okay? Now, I'm putting together good shows, you see? Let's let let's get it done. Let let's fix everything. And, and another thing I'm gonna put out there: all you expedite drivers that want to hang out in that union group with that idiot Jacob Davis, okay, Tabor, and cargo van man. Let me be very very clear to you, especially you, Jacob. You made a very bad mistake making threats towards me. It's all documented. Trust me, you're going to be in big trouble. And all the drivers that you're scamming, okay, the brokers are going to know about this. I got a file, okay? I told you to be patient and wait for your video. It will come out. You will not stop me from the video, okay? Say whatever you want, Jacob. But what you're doing and your threats you made, you threaten the wrong veteran. Make no mistake, at 50 years old, I'm not a little guy, okay? You're 20 some years old. You don't even have the wisdom or the history in life to intellectually compete with me. You have trouble spelling basic words, okay? You're a thief, you're a fraud, and you're an opportunist. You're scamming drivers, you're lying to them. You're telling drivers to hustle shippers. Do the brokers know what you're doing, Jacob? No, probably not. Some of them do because they're watching. Axel put them on you, okay? So I'm going to make it very clear to everyone in that group. Be very careful. These guys are scamming you. They're taking advantage, okay? And those threats, you will be prosecuted, I guarantee it. I have no problem. So, that's the end of the show. Remember, Jacob, keep calling me, keep threatening me. It will not work. I've already sent your messages to other brokers to look at. Okay? You're an idiot. You're one of the biggest idiots in Expedite. Okay? Now, any of you van drivers, and I'll repeat it again. You want to go to a good group? There's guys in there 
They don't try to hustle and scam you. They don't charge you for bullshit consultations and all this other crap. If any expedite van drivers are paying for consultation or courses, you're getting hustled, okay? I've been in this business long enough. We never hustled nobody for no damn courses or consultation or talk to them on the phone. It's bullshit, okay? Bullshit just like this fake dispatch company, all right? Brokers. This is Axel. I hope you enjoyed the show. You know me. I get a little active. But uh, we're working on a couple other things with a couple other people. Got some more shows coming out. Uh, let, let's let's get proactive here. I know some of you guys are working on some things. You sent me some stuff. I'm glad. And, uh, you know, by the time you see this video, I'm sure you'll see the emails on Selectus. This is Axel. I strike again. Got me another one. Selectus, wake your ass up okay let's let let talk to the brokers talk to me but all the nonsense all the idiots all the scammings and frauds and bullshit consultations no more no more a couple of us we got some stuff coming up and the rest of you i guess we see you in court this is axel i'm out to the next one